Hi everyone, Stockmo back at Studio B and I am glad to be home, but we got some more news out there affecting the markets as basically I'm talking about some of the crypto today. Wow, I made a big purchase and we're going to talk about that and what is just going on and how low do some of the people out there believe Ethereum could drop? We're going to take a look at that as talk a little bit about the stock market as well. There's going to be a lot of information. Now, before we get into it, of course, if you have not done it, take advantage of this right now. Moomoo giving you one of the best deals you're ever going to see. Up to 11 free stocks. Put one penny in. Got the link right below the video. You get All you got to do is sign up, put a penny in. You get yourself six free stocks worth up to $15,000. And of course, if you put in 100, and this is what I would do. I'd put 100 or more in, and you get a free share of Lucid Guaranteed. That's around 20 bucks, 19, 20 bucks, I think, last time I looked. And then you get seven other stocks worth up to 17,500 altogether. Absolutely one of the best deals out there. And of course, take an extra minute. And I got another one for you. Of course, we got the Weeble. You get six free stocks right now for depositing a penny using my link below. Now we get into what's happening. For those that have not been following along, take a look at this. Bitcoin dropping like a champ. So is Ethereum. We went sub 30,000 on Bitcoin. We talked about this before, uh, about where the price would get a good support and some of the other things. And I can tell you, I concentrate my money on Ethereum for those who've been following me over at the Patreon. Link down below. Come on over and join us. Uh, I got to tell you, I've been loading up on Ethereum and I continue to load up on it as it dropped. Now, I got to tell you this part. I bought in, just to give you a five day here. Uh, we busted down into uh, the 1600s right in here. I bought uh, uh, quite a few. I bought about like, three Ethereum. And so, and I already have a boatload. My goal is to get up to 200 Ethereum and then just kind of sit on it. And my goal is to see that 200 Ethereum turn into $2 million. I want to be a multi-millionaire from Ethereum alone. Now, it's going to take it to hit 10,000. I still believe it's going to hit 10,000 or more by the end of 2025. So my goal is to get up to 200 Ethereum by then. Then I was gonna buy a good chunk every $100 down. So once I get into 1550s, I was gonna buy some and load up another big bunch. But unfortunately or fortunately, I was on the road and by the time I got back, I saw it dipped all the way down to 1400. And so I ended up buying some, I believe it was 1471 was my price. So at this point, it's up a little bit more, but I ended up buying even more. I bought four this time. My goal is to continue to dollar cost average in. Now, the benefit of that is I actually get more Ethereum for, as the price drops for the same amount of money I'm investing. I had a lot of money on the side in my crypto account. This has been waiting. I've been sitting. And when we had the run up, I kind of enjoy it. And on the way down, I continue to build my cash reserves for a moment like this. And so we are going to be adding more and more and more on. And you can see the last time we were this low, this is year lows now. We're getting back down there uh, right around here, February of 2021. That is a long time ago. And how low could we go? Well, if we retest some of these, look at this, 100 and something dollars a piece. Will it get back down there? I don't know. I don't believe it will. I believe it's grown greatly over the last few years, but there are no guarantees. Are we in a crypto winter? I absolutely believe so. And if we take a look at where we were at a high here and where we're at a low, we are now down 68% on Ethereum. And to me, that's that's enough right there to call it a winner. I think some of the growth stocks we've been talking about are in a growth stock winner. And you know what I'm talking about, some of the DraftKings, Neo, some of the ones that have dropped 50, 60, 70, 80%. All right, so here's some of the things they talked about. Traders targeted $1,400 Ethereum price after Ethereum drops closer to critical support level, and it hit it. It's down there around the $1,400 level now, and can it escape the, the head and shoulders. They talked about this. But at the end of the day, we know it just crashed down. Clean break of $1,700. And last leg would be confirmed with the main target, $1,000. That's where some of the people see it heading down to $1,000. We're about, you know, another uh, 30% and you got that. Uh, another thing based on the lower area support highlighted by the chart above, uh, provided by Crypto Tony, a breakdown below the current price could see Ethereum pull to 
1450 to 1600, which did happen. So this article was pretty spot on for some of them. And that's something to, to think about. Now, I will say it again. I believe you're seeing Ethereum get crushed a lot worse than Bitcoin because one, they're delaying the, uh, they're basically a lot of people are believing the merge is going to be delayed till September, October, and the difficulty bomb is being delayed. And so with that news coming out over the weekend, I believe there's some people upset and you have money coming out. They just don't want to stick around. And so we don't know. We don't know what, like I said, this is a major, major merge. And when we get to that, uh, I hope, I hope to see it done in September, October. I really wanted to see it done by the end of August. But the, the point is they believed it was going to be a 90 to 99 percent chance of it being done in 2022. And let's hope that continues. Let's hope that continues. So as we take a look at uh, Tesla, how it ended up on Friday, because this is the other thing I wanted to talk a little bit about on this Sunday. Uh, take a look at it. It's down to 696. And of course, they announced the three for one stock split. So this is going to go down to 232. We had a little bit of a run up in the after hours. Not much, though. And you can see right here, it ended up at 719, which is about $23 above. Now, where it goes on Monday, we don't know. But the you know some of the other times they had stock splits, as we recall, they had good runs. There's no guarantee that's going to happen. A lot of these growth stocks have been getting hammered down, and it's just been ugly. I still like DraftKings for the long run. But like I said, when you look at all these stocks and you see where they've been and where they're going, it is scary out there. Here's what it's going to take. So it doesn't matter. In my opinion, it does not matter when you look at the DraftKings, the SoFi, the Charge Points, the Palantir, uh, the, all these big growth stocks. The truth is, until the Fed pivots and they get less hawkish, and they're not out there raising rates, you're going to see downward pressure on these stocks. They're not going to be able to take off until you see the Fed calm down and care about this stock market. Right now, they care more about inflation. They made it They made it abundantly clear that their main target is inflation, and they're going to raise those rates as quickly and as much as they have to to contain it. Now, the problem is with that is I don't believe they have all the power they need to do what they need to do because it's all over the globe. They can't stop China from doing lockdowns because of COVID cases and shutting down supply chains that affect the entire world. They can't stop Russia from doing the war on Ukraine, and that's going to have an effect on energy prices, which also gets put into all of the, the shipping around the world, how much we're able to buy at a gas pump. I took the Stang out, and I had a road trip, and I had to fill it up, and it's not even that many gallons, but man, it was $75 to fill up my uh, my 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 Shelby, and I was just like shocked. I mean, that's some that's expensive, and so Anyways, and when I drive the trip I have to do, I have to fill it up twice. It's like a hundred and something dollars just to fill up the car. It's just absolutely ridiculous. So money's coming out of people's pockets to pay for gas, to go to work, to go to school, to go to the grocery store. And that's money that could be spent on the economy, which is no longer happening. So you're going to have a demand destruction. You also have supply issues because of uh, the, the supply chains around the world because of COVID and energy and everything else. And that's going to take another year to clear up. I, we'll watch how this goes. Right now, from what I'm reading, it's just ugly through 2023. And I'm hoping by the end of 2023, we're good. Now, I still believe this year, people still have the money. They still have savings. They have people borrowing on credit now. We know people are using their credit. I still believe this year, you'll have a lot of good numbers. But I'm afraid for 2023. And I got to tell you, I do believe a recession's coming in 2023. I think that's the year we get it. I am doing what I need to do. And during a recession, there is a lot of issues out there. Last time we had 2007, 2009, energy got, it went up to $150 a barrel for oil, crashed down because of the recession. I expect a repeat. Now, what's that mean? I'm going to make as much money as I can as the prices are high, but it, it, I'm going to be able to pivot very, very quickly. When I see bad signs, I'm going to be putting in trailing stop losses and other things and moving into some things I think will do better. Uh, like I said, some of the utilities and other plays out there. I've got a big list. If you want to see everything I'm going to be doing as I do it, join me at the Patreon down below. Uh, I always share what I do. Now, I still got my Poison Ivy 2 on my arms and stuff like that. It's been a miserable week. Stock market, Poison Ivy, just miserable. 
All right, so that's it. That's my big update. If you haven't done it, take advantage of the Moomoo. Link down below. Remember, six free stocks for one penny. And I showed you how to use the institutional investing on my channel for Moomoo. If you haven't seen that video, I highly recommend it. And of course, uh, put $100 or more in, you'll get seven free stocks plus an eighth free stock of Lucid Guaranteed. And I do have the Weeble link where you get six free stocks for depositing a penny. Take advantage of those. And come on over and join me at the Patreon. I appreciate you stopping by. Now let's get out there and make some money.